talking about the slams, the ride or die. It's talking about my friends, my guys all the time. They're kind of cool. They're kind of whack. I love them to death. And those those are facts. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my rapping bundles are doing something super weird. Um, you guys need to follow me on Instagram because like, I be rapping a lot on this. So I was live last night and I feel like my bundles just like, yeah, it disappeared with the live because I was on one. So sometimes when I have to sit and like perform, it's just really hard. Sure, gang, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Google Etienne Zumba, Jujuletwa, and this is Uncomfortable Growth. To my returning subscribers, to the gay, to the fellow, what it do, baby. To my new subscribers and those who are passing by, hopefully you like what you see and you join the gang, eh? Because I'm on the road to 20 taka 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 thousand. That's right. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. So, this video was definitely supposed to be a mukbang, but I've just realized, Horide on YouTube, just as of recent, like, if you're recording a mukbang, you're definitely eating a seafood boil and I'm gonna keep it straight up akomali, like I can't afford it. Yeah? You know, it's the end of the month, things are just shaky and weird, so <laughs> I decided that I will put the mukbang off as soon as I can afford it. Yeah? Um, you guys will obviously be getting that shit. This video isn't a mukbang, however, on Instagram I put up like little, what's it called? Like a, a post thing, yeah, where I was like, yo, tell me what you want me to be talking about. And this question, yo, this question, this topic has actually been requested quite a bit. So you guys have asked for me to speak about friendships, like how I choose my friends, how I deal with toxic friendships, unsupportive friends, so you know. All of my friends, I've actually known, everyone who's in my life right now, I've actually known for a very, very long time. Um, we weren't always close, but it's cool that like we found each other in our, in our adulthood or like at this stage in our lives. Um, but I've known of everyone for a very, very long time and we'd actually been in like similar spaces. We just all kind of came together, which is cool. Yeah, I'm a very friendly person, so like I don't struggle to make friends, but like the real friendship stuff, is something I definitely don't take lightly at all. Um, friends are chosen family. Friends are the best. Guys, friendship is just a beautiful gift. Like God spares when he created friendship. So I just like to take that bit seriously, especially now. Like I've just realized that good friends are really hard to come by and genuine connections are so hard to find that when you do find it, cherish it and nourish that. So if I'm in the position where I kind of like someone and I like their vibe and I can see that like yo we could actually have a really really dope friendship I will look at certain things to see how seriously I can take you as a friend or just to see how much I can open up to you or like where I'm gonna place you <laughs> in my life in terms of like friendship so the first thing for me the first red flag for me or the first thing I just run away from is or the first thing I look for rather is if I'm looking to be friends with someone I look at how they treat their other friends and how they speak of their other friends you must never in your life think that you're an exception to anything and to anyone. If someone is capable of chopping about their friends 365 or not speaking of their friends in in or not speaking of their friends well, you must never think that that person is incapable of turning around and and not doing that to you. They're going to do that to you, you know? It's just a matter of waiting your turn <laughs> I think you can tell a lot about someone and how they friendship when you watch their other friendships because that's what you can expect and obviously if they respect their friends um, yeah they're gonna most likely respect you and if they're struggling to respect the people that are already their friends like who are you to think that when they're gonna be like oh right you're so different I'm gonna treat you differently like how someone treats their friends is a reflection of how they're going to treat you in the friendship and I'm obviously well aware that we experience people differently so this is not me saying that someone like if someone has a bad friendship with someone else I'm not going to write them off but it has to be like repeated behavior um yeah so if someone be talking about everybody, like all of their friends all the time, I don't want any of that. The second thing I look for is comfortability. So if I feel weird having a certain conversation with you or being vulnerable, then I know that there's a reason as to why I feel like that. Um, I'm not necessarily like a super open person. And I think that because I'm super friendly and I can chop, people think I am. But like when it comes to the crux of it and when I'm dealing with the real shit and talking about the real... The real things in life, I don't often have those conversations with just anyone. Um, I don't trust people very openly. I like to test the waters. So if I'm ever at a point 
where I'm chilling with someone and I feel like I can't say that or I can't be vulnerable or I'm scared of if I say this will they tell someone else like I already know that I'm feeling weird about it and I need to did that and there's a reason as to why I'm feeling that you know I've learned to trust my gut I've also learned through my friendships now that like having a safe space is so important and being able to be yourself and express yourself in friendships is so important I think I've been in friendships where I didn't feel like I could express myself and like I to be quite honest I didn't understand the point of the friendship you know like what were we gaining like what were we doing so I'm not I don't do any of that you know if I can't chop my chop freely it is a no from me um Another thing that I look for is what I can do with you. So my mom has been saying this to me for the longest time, like since high school, actually primary school. Um, my mom and I are very similar, like we're both, I don't want to say socialized, but we can do really well in social settings and we're both just super friendly. So my mom's always said to me that, Gux, you're going to have your netball friends, you're going to have your basketball friends, you're going to have your church friends, your gym friends, your school friends, whatever. So she was just like, dude, you're going to have certain people that you do certain things with and that is okay. Like those are your friends for those specific things. And then you'll have a group of friends, like a very close group of friends or sisters or whatever it is you may call it, that you will feel comfortable doing anything and everything with. If I'm going to be your friend friend, like if you're going to be my fur, my fur, it is so imperative that I'm able to do anything and everything with you. Like from, I don't know, I just I don't like to be limited in my friendships um, I'm a very versatile person there's so many things that I like to do and I'm so grateful that my friends are the same so I look for that also like a very good indication to me that like we're we're somewhat tight is if I can honestly just come to your place pull on the couch and have yeah just us chill like just be in each other's presence without having to do anything and being content with that speaks of volumes to me also I want you guys to know that in friendships you can definitely be the cool friend and we cannot be having that. So the cool friend is the friend that initiates all the meetups. The friend that is continuously having to text first or message first or continuously having to check up on someone and the person's not checking up on you. The friend who doesn't speak up about something because she's scared of how that person may receive it. Um, avoiding conflict. Just bending your back over... You know, bending your back over... Back, bending back... Bending backwards over, eh? Sngizi, so how are you? You're on a layer, you're going to be when I got cool for someone who doesn't take you nearly as seriously or someone who doesn't reciprocate. Reciprocation is a big thing for me. Ooh, you cannot put yourself in a position where you're constantly pouring yourself into people and they're not doing the same to you because you will be drained and it will be overwhelming to you at the end and it will end in tears. You actually have, guys, when you're investing in a friendship, a friendship is like a relationship like I feel like you put just as much effort into your friendships as much as you do in your relationships or rather that you should so if I'm investing so much of myself into someone and like just loving on them continuously and they're not doing the same I gotta go I personally I'm not in the business of overextending myself anymore been there done that got a t-shirt it's terrible so I'm not gonna be doing any of that um, but I think being a cool friend has a lot to do with reciprocation and if you're in a position or in a friendship where you don't feel valued and you don't feel like this person is reciprocating what you're giving either one obviously have the conversation if you feel like the friendship means that much to you and it's worth saving otherwise adios amigos hasta la vista wouldn't want to see ya like that's something I'm very very stern on and I think that's why I ride for my friends as hard as I do now just because we we match each other's energy like I really enjoy my friends because we all know how to act if I'm here my nigga you you here all right all right um also a question I got on my Instagram was yeah someone asked me how you deal with toxic friendships I have never been in a toxic friendship I think I've been in a little bit of a toxic relationships i'll talk about that like at a later stage but i've never been in a toxic friendship i think that i obviously have had like bad friendships or like friendships that have fallen out but they were never toxic because I, I just didn't put myself in that position so i don't necessarily know, necessarily know how to speak on that but i would like to think that whatever it is i'd say towards someone being in a toxic relationship i'd say you know for someone who's in a toxic friendship is just leave like guys if you're under if you are not appreciated if you do not feel safe your fr your friends actually just have to be your safe space 
Like it's, I can't, guys, these are people you're actively choosing to be a part of your life. These are your chosen family members. Like, cool, family's great, ha ha ha, but I'm born into that, you know? I have to ride with those niggas whether I like it or not. But my friends are people that I'm like, yo, I actually just love, like I, I love the person that you are and I love what you do for me and I love the fact that you encourage me and I love how you love me and how you support me. So I want you to be part of my journey of life. Like it's a very big commitment, you know, like, if, if you feel like you're in a toxic friendship, I know leaving toxic situations can be very hard. Um, I know that toxic situations can often be manipulative or one of the parties can be manipulative. So yeah, I'll have like a whole video about toxic relationships and like how I got out of my little situation um, and like identifying that it was toxic because often you can be in a toxic situation and be in denial that it's toxic. So yeah, we, we, we're, not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. All right, all right. Someone also asked about unsupportive friends and it came up on the timeline. Someone tweeted something about like, you know, unsupportive friends and I quoted the tweet and I was like, essentially, I don't see how you can, I don't see how the two can be mutually, can be mutual. I don't see how the two can coexist. I don't see how you can be my friend and be unsupportive. Um, yeah, I feel like when you are someone's friend and you have pure intentions and you love them, you obviously want them to succeed. So why would you not help your friend get to the place or the point to where they need to be? How, like, how are you my friend and not rooting for me? How are you my friend and not supporting my craft? Like, what is, what is the meaning of your friendship then? Like, why... For me, for me, I personally, I just don't think the two can coexist because I... I know that when you genuinely love someone, you want the best for them at all times. So if my friend is embarking on something new, a new venture, whatever it is, I'm going to try to support them the best that I can. Be it behind closed doors, you know, like you don't always have to like, I don't think support always has to be public. I do think you can offer your friends emotional support or whatever, but it's also very dependent on what it is that you're supporting. So if someone is like has... Like for instance with my YouTube channel, I obviously know that I post gang and I'm not expecting for my friends to watch every single one but I find comfort in knowing that I know my friends watch my YouTube channel and I know I would have an issue if they didn't. Just because why would you not, yeah, like why would you not support my craft, you know, why would you not help try and push what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so unsupportive friendships for me are weird. Also, sometimes you may find that someone doesn't reciprocate your energy or your support just because you aren't as important to them as what they are to you. And that's life, guys. Sometimes you overestimate your place in someone's life or you may think, or you may have, you may have reason to believe that you know, like, we are on a certain level, but that's not the case for the other person and they don't reciprocate it and that is life. Like, I don't think things like that deserve a qual. It's literally just a matter of, okay, I see what it is, I see where we stand, um, I can love you from a distance, but I require more from my friendships. And I have been very vocal about that. I think I've just been very vocal about the things that I deserve. There's nothing worse than being in a weird place with a friend. Like, there's also nothing worse than a friendship breakup. There is nothing. So I really do try my best at all times to, to avoid amanyaga, yeah, amanyala. I, I really I really don't like it but yeah guys friendships are super important um just like any relationship you have to nurture it you have to feed it you have to give it time you have to be patient you have to be understanding for me it's actually just crazy as a hand I've just realized that like sometimes you'll realize that your friends can be so much more understanding to their niggas than their friends which is which is really a video and a story for another day because I almost feel like the same attitude you approach a relationship with, you should be able to approach a friendship with. Both of them are equally as important. If anything, I joke around with my friends sometimes, you know, I'm super supportive of their relationships. But like, if, if I can see my friend is starting to act weird, they're calling less, you know, the effort isn't there anymore, I'll be like, don't be. I'm gonna call you, Hootie. I was here before and I'll be here after. We're in this for the long run and I understand that whatever you're trying to build with that person can be important and obviously like I obviously hope that it is for the long run but in the event that it isn't like it's never worth losing your friends over a nigga or over someone you're pursuing or over a friendship. I also guys I don't like it like when people are in relationships and can really neglect their friends and then when that friendship ends they just like come back like nothing happened no i think that's very manipulative you don't get to walk in and out of someone's life when you please you don't get 
to you someone or have a friendship to your convenience if i'm your friend i must feel like your friend when you're single when you're in, an, in a relationship when things are good i want you to share that with me when things are bad i want you to share that with me i just want a friendship in the like the most holistic sense oh another thing i look at now with the friendships that i've like gained over the past two three years another thing because those are like my most recent friendships is that i have to like you as a person so when i say that i mean that like if we weren't friends and i were to look at you from afar and what i know of you do i respect you as a person and do i think like yo you're cool like i like you you know what i mean because often guys you can love someone and not like them which is also a chat for another day hey there's so much to unpack here um <laughs> but you can like someone i mean you can love someone and not like them as a person and i have to like my friends i have to know that if i were not friends with them you know and i saw them on social media or whatever that i would be like i'd be cool I'd be like oh cool this is a cool person from what i know i respect them they're respectful yeah so it's very important those things are very important for me also your friends really do have an influence on you whether you like it or not especially if you spend lots of time with you so it's imperative that you surround yourself with good energy all the time guys no relationship in life should drain you a friendship a relationship like even if it's a relationship with family no relationship should drain you you know like i think that all relationships have hard times and that is normal and you work through those things but you should never be in a constant state of being drained in a friendship that's that's not it i also think that in friendships naturally you find the perfect like push and pull like you will be able to be strong for your friend when they're not and they will be able to do the same for you reciprocation is very important because if you're constantly showing up for someone it's going to be very hard to show up for yourself it's also most emotionally draining i also i'm so aware that my friends and i are in such a, a different space right now we're going through so much like it, it feels like you know our lives are finally starting and my friends are just pushing so many different projects so i know that we're all super 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 busy and that's why support is an imperative for me like i wouldn't have had this youtube channel if it wasn't for my friends like i thought of the idea and the fact they were like girl get on that do that meant everything to me you know my friends are also my muse um i often think of like concepts while having conversations with them just seeing what they're struggling with or what it is you know that they're dealing with j anything and obviously i think i have the best friends in the world so i wanted to create a youtube channel so also just show them off a bit yeah like i re i love my friends and you should love your friends um i love my friends openly i love them wholeheartedly and i because i give that i expect the same and i've been very fortunate in that i've never i've never had to like hunt someone down for that my friends are just they've naturally reciprocated that and when you find your people you find your people i'm also often asked how i found my friends like dog it's crazy uh, like nana i've known since primary school i met like sibu and varsity cat and varsity all at different stages though in my life like i'm also it's crazy that my friends met me at such different points in my life like i was just like a very different person <laughs> at certain points of that um so i don't necessarily have like a formula i obviously did pray for it i just pray for genuine friendships and like relationships and life in general um but yeah, I think if you give out good energy and you have really good intentions, God will definitely bless you with the support system. And yeah. Okay, I hope you guys like my little TED talk on friendship. Um, I hope you guys are happy in your friendships. Um, I hope you're speaking up if you are unhappy. Um, personally, also how I will gauge if the friendship is like a real, not a real thing, but like serious to me. And if I actually like care about this person is that I've said this before, guys, I hate conflict. I would rather just peacefully you know take a step back or distance myself but if i'm at the point where something does happen and i do address you i know that's because i want the relationship to move forward if i don't address something it's because like i don't necessarily think that the conversation is worth it because i'm not necessarily interested in the relationship anymore so yeah okay i got to go i love you gang and thank you so much for tuning in yet again road to 20k road to 20k road to 20k okay uh, please make sure to like share subscribe and get antana emakaya i hope you guys are keeping safe